Hello friends, welcome to the Make Tech Simple channel. Today, I will show you how to secure a Google or Gmail account permanently. It is very essential because your Gmail is used in many places. Suppose you have not secured your account yet. In the future, your Gmail account may be hacked by hackers. So, this is the right time to secure your account. Let's move to my mobile screen and follow each and every steps. The first thing you need to do is open the Gmail application and then click on the profile icon in the top right hand corner. If you have many Gmail accounts logged into this device and the Gmail account you want to secure is not at the top, then just click on the Gmail account you want to secure. It will automatically move to the top. Then click on the Google account button below your profile. All right, friends, slide this tab to the security page. And here you can see that the symbol showing an unsecured account. So let's move forward to secure it. First of all, scroll down and stop at the two-step verification option. This option means that if someone somehow gets to know your password and tries to log in, then he will not be able to log in because a pop-up message will be received on your mobile asking if you are trying to log in. Then you will have the control to deny or give permission to log in. Now, to enable this, just click on this and scroll down. Here, click on the Turn on Two-Step Verification button and enter your mobile number. After entering it, click on the Next button and you will receive a six-digit verification code from Google. So enter that code and then just click on the Verify button. Here, wait a few seconds and then refresh the page. Now you can see that it shows you are now protected with two-step verification. To complete it, just click on Done. All right, friends, go back to the security tab and you can see that the two-step verification option has been ticked green. Now let's move to the next step. Scroll down a little bit and stop at the recovery phone option. Adding the recovery number is very necessary because if you ever forget your password in the future, this recovery mobile number will help you recover your account. To add this, just click on it, then click on try another way, and then click on the second option, enter your password. Then. Enter your Gmail account's password. I think you have now entered it. After entering your password, click on the next button and then click on add recovery phone. Here, enter your phone number by selecting your country code beside it. After entering it, move forward and click on the next button and then click on get code. You will receive a code like this on your mobile from Google. So enter that code and click on the verify button. Now you can see that your phone number has been added successfully. All right, friends, now go back to the security tab. Let's move to adding a recovery email. This process is the same as adding a recovery phone number. So enter your alternative Gmail here, then click on the verify button. You will receive a verification code in your alternative Gmail. So just copy it from there and then enter it. After entering your code, just click on the verify button. Now your recovery email has also been added. Let's move to the fourth step. Go just below it and click on Manage All Devices. From here, you can see on which devices you have this Gmail account. If you find any suspicious device that you don't recognize, for demonstration purposes, I am removing this Gmail from this Windows laptop. To do this, simply click on Sign Out option. Again, click on Sign Out on this pop-up page. Let's move forward to the next step. Scroll down and you can see all your connections to third-party apps and services. To see all connected apps, click on See All Connections. Now you can see all the apps that are connected to your Gmail. If you want to remove any apps from your Gmail, just click on that app. I am removing Ideogram, so I am going to click on Ideogram and scroll down. After that, click on Delete All Connections that you have with the third party app, and then just click on the Confirm option on this pop up page. Now you see the Ideogram app that I deleted is not showing here. Go back from here and now let's move ahead to the last step. Click on Manage Enhanced Safe Browsing. By turning on this feature in your Gmail account, it will protect your Gmail from dangerous websites, downloads, and extensions. To enable this, click on this button and again click on Turn On at the bottom and wait a few seconds here until it gets updated. Then go back to the Security tab. See that Enhanced Protection is showing as on. All the steps have been completed now. So go to the top of this page and you can see that this green tick is showing that your account is now secured. That is how you can secure your Gmail or Google account. Now, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.